In this video, we're going to focus on the second fundamental problem from chapter 2. If the force P causes the rigid arm ABC to rotate clockwise about pin A through an angle of 0.02 degrees, we are to determine the normal strain in the wires BD and CE. The first thing you have to do you want to do is to convert your degrees 0.02 degrees to radians. To do this, you simply put 0.02 degrees and you multiply it times pi divided by 180. You put this in the calculator and we get 3.491 times 10 to the negative 4 radians. Now we want to determine an equation and we see that the, the beam, we can imagine the beam will move in this direction. So you know the point B is going to be right here under, which we're going to call BB dash. And point C, C, point C is going to be right here downward, which we're going to call CC dash. And the angle is given from this point. So we can determine an equation to find this thing out. Our equation is tan for tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And in this case, BB dash and CC dash are going to be your, your opposite. For this case, we're going to use BB dash. We divide it by your adjacent, which is your length. And from this equation, we can rearrange it to this. We get then theta times your length equals your BB dash. And we can do this process similar to the CC dash. But let's apply this first. So we have a length of 600, 600 millimeters. Multiply it times your radians, because we don't have the angles anymore. So we just multiplied 3.491 times 10 to the negative 4 radians. Put this in the calculator. I know BB dash is going to give us. 0 0.209 millimeters. This is our BB dash. Now we follow the same process and do it for the CC dash. R10 times L equals CC dash. We substitute. We have a length of 600 plus 600 is 1,200 times your 10 data, which is your radians, because we converted it. So we get times 3.491 times 10 to negative 4 equals CC dash, which gives us, we enter this in the calculator and we get 0 0.419 millimeters. This is our CC dash. Now we want to find the strain. And the strain, the strain is basically just your changing length divided by your original length. Let's do first for the wire BD. That is that one asked. Our BD, we're going to put our BB dash, because they're right, right below it, divided by our original length of BD. And then BB dash, we got 0 .0 0 0.209 millimeters. We divide our original length, which is 400 millimeters. 
plug this in the calculator calculator we get 5.24 5.24 times 10 to the negative 4 and remember strain doesn't have a unit so this is our answer for the strain in BD now we calculate in a similar way the strain for CE so our strain for CE is equal to CC divided by the original length CE for CC we got 0 0.419 millimeters we divided by our original length which is given as 600 600 millimeters plug this in the calculator and we get 6.98 times 10 to negative 4 these are our two strains that we were asked for so here's our final answer if you thought this solution was helpful, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe.